and gentlemen, this is going to be level one genetics problem number 12. Let's read the problem together. In poultry, black color is due to a dominant gene E. And red color is its recessive allele. Now, this is a little bit odd here, all right? We've got an E here for this particular instance. Let's write down that. Capital E means black, and lowercase e means red. Crested head is due to a dominant gene C, so let's do, let's do that. And plain head is recessive allele, cap, uh, lowercase c. All right. So we have our allele symbol set. Let's read the rest of the problem. A male bird, red and crested. All right, now this is the symbol for male. He's red and he's crested, so he must be lowercase e, lowercase e for red. And crested, he's going to have at least one dominant allele. We don't know his next allele. Uh, he's going to be crossed with a black plain female. All right, now, um, she is at least one dominant allele. And if she's plain, she has lowercase c, lowercase c, or homozygous recessive. Okay, so that's the female symbol. Now, um, the question here is, um, what are the genotypes of the parents? So we're trying to figure out what this question mark is and what this question mark is. All right, now let's look at it by figuring out um, what their offspring look like. Now, the offspring, which is, you know, their babies, half are black and crested. This says rested, but it should say crested. So right in the C there. Half are black and crested. The other half are red and crested. All right, now, so what that means is we've got a half and half split between black and red, but 100% of their kids are crested. From this information, we should be able to infer what the genotypes of the parents are. We should be able to figure out what these question marks are. So let's write this down. From that cross, we've got half of the kids with... At least this, so that would be black and crested, and the other half are going to look like this, red and crested. We don't know, that's an E, not a C. We don't know the second allele there. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> this kid, these kids with these phenotypes, that's going to be black and crested, cannot be homozygous dominant. The reason is their dad only has the recessive alleles to give. Okay, so that means um, this can't be E question mark. It's got to be uh, capital E, lowercase e. These kids have to be heterozygous, all right? And similarly, we know what this question mark is here because their mom only has a lowercase c allele to give, all right? Similar over here. So what that means is that these must be heterozygous for red, and they must be heterozygous for crested. Whereas these over here, we know they're homozygous recessive for um, red. Oh, these are, this is black, I'm sorry. These are homozygous recessive for red. This must be heterozygous, okay? Because this, the little c's have to go here, okay? Now, when we look at uh, the results with just the e's here, we've got half the kids... Uh, heterozygous and half the kids homozygous recessive, all right? And if you look at that, if you have half heterozygous, half homozygous recessive, that's just like the result of your heterozygous um, homozygous recessive cross. If you remember your six monohybrid, uh, representative monohybrid crosses, right? So this suggests that um, this question mark must be an E, all right? Well, it's gonna, of course it's going to be an E, but it's going to be a lowercase e. <clears throat> now, um, all, of the parent, all of the kids are heterozygous, and if we have no offspring that are homozygous recessive, that suggests that this question mark must be the dominant allele, all right? 
Sorry. It should be the dominant over there. So all heterozygous in the offspring suggests that the cross from the parents was homozygous dominant cross with homozygous recessive. Okay? So our parent genotypes must be what we have here now. Homozygous recessive, homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. Okay, that's it for number 12.